this video, prepare to pray, prepare to receive, prepare to be blessed by the ministry of Apostle Joshua Selma. The man of God will be praying over our lives, declaring over our lives in this month of February. And let your heart be opened to receive. God bless you as you watch this. Lady, don't sit here wondering what is happening. Now the Lord is that spirit. Now the Lord is that spirit. Everything that should have entered your hand, but is being hijacked by powers in the second heavens. I stand by prophecy. This week, between today and next week Sunday, I prophesy may it enter your hand. I prophesy may it enter your hand. Greetings, dear friends. Through the Word of God, we have come to know not only the nature and attribute of our Creator, but His magnificent plan for us. In the midst of our busy and fast-paced life, it becomes essential to nourish our souls and cultivate a vibrant spiritual life. Today, as we prepare to listen to this message that awaits you, the blessings of God are upon you. May you receive the wisdom to discern and understand beyond the spoken word. Kindly engage with us through the comment section below, sharing your thoughts and reflections. We encourage you to support our work by giving this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to stay updated for all our next messages. In your new year, welcome to our channel. We are glad you joined us. Thanks for subscribing. May the grace of God be with you, guiding your part and illuminating your heart. Amen. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare upon your life, as I shout the prophetic words, I want you to thunder a believing amen. Everyone here who is in any financial calamity, in the name of Jesus, between now and the end of February, you have the faith to believe this. The helper that will arise for you, may God provoke them to arise for you. I'm seeing at least 17 people and I want you to hold them. People will start to run out by the spirit. It is this grace for speed that we talk about. There are people that have come here. God has revealed things to you already. He has told you that this is a season he's shifting you. I'm about to declare that word. Please just bring them out here. Everywhere I'm seeing that anointing of the spirit of God. There are businesses, there are individuals, there are families, there are ministries that have been kept at a level. He said, Moses, tell the people that they go forward. Therefore, I declare by the power of the spirit as instructed by God, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now bring them out i decree and declare speed every delay i stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic and i decree and declare now you will run like elijah and overtake the chariots of ahab even down to Israel. you will run like elijah financially spiritually i declare by the voice of prophecy in the name of Jesus, everything holding you down that will not allow you to move forward, I speak to you tonight. Go forward. 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 And every power sitting on your destiny that would not let you move forward. Hear the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, the Christ of God, the one who is exalted as Lord and Christ, I command those spirits to give way now. Give way now. Give way now. Over financial destinies, give way now. 
every ministry here represented that will not move forward in their prophetic assignment whether you are a man of god or you are an ordained worker i decree and declare that grace for speed lands upon your destiny now <laughs> hear me there are businesses here that have been grounded i take five years and put it in one month for you by prophecy the achievement of five years may it manifest in one month please believe it don't sit here wondering what is happening now the lord is that spirit now the lord is that spirit everything that should have entered your hand but it's been hijacked by powers in the second heavens i stand by prophecy this week between today and next week sunday i prophesy may it enter your hand i may it enter your hand every helper of your destiny who has refused to cooperate with the holy spirit to birth prophecy over your life i'm speaking over a family and in the i've been instructed to do this i decree and declare every helper of your destiny hear the word of the lord from the north the east the south the west i command them to appear over your destiny For some of you, while you are in this service seated, the spirit of the living God is going to the helpers of your destiny and compelling men to speak at the gates for you. In the name of Jesus, before you get there, a good report would have gone ahead of you. Hear me? Shame and reproach that has refused to live your life by the god of heaven let it end here tonight let it end let it end here tonight let it end here tonight this grace for visibility that can expose a man to his world can i tell you being gifted is powerful but if that engracing is not upon you you will remain there with your gift there is a grace it's called a hear ye him anointing the grace that compels your territory not only to know you are there but to come and place a demand on your grace i speak to someone here you have done your due diligence to build now is the time to be seen i stand by the voice of prophecy may that grace for visibility let it come on you now visibility in business visibility in ministry in the name of jesus christ The Bible says, and it was noised abroad that Jesus was in town. Who noised it is not our business. It was noised. And any man in fraternity with dark powers, who says over his dead body for you to rise, may his prayer be answered in this service. <laughs> See, you see let me tell you this please look up prophecy is not an announcement prophecy is creation you are not just announcing what should happen you are making it happen consistent with the will of god there are many dimensions to the prophetic there is the revelatory dimension of the prophetic that supplies you spiritual information to the end that your faith be built right and then you have hope and the bible says hope does not make ashamed 
but there is the creative dimension of prophecy it does not just reveal what will happen it makes it happen when the prophet said by this time tomorrow he was not announcing what would have happened anyway there was no way that would have happened oh like the prophet let me speak over someone's life by this time tomorrow i don't mean prophetic tomorrow literal chronological tomorrow may a testimony that will surprise you come to you every man needs destiny help us to rise in life no matter how grace you are even jesus needed john the baptist to announce him i desire to you to come to you even i paul once and again but satan hindered us i want to call your destiny help us by prophecy father everyone here because i sense in my spirit that there are people who are in strange seasons in their lives this is what I sense. You are coming to the end of a season and you are connecting with a greater one. But if there is no help of destiny, you can remain there and recycle seasons again. I pray for you from the north to the south, the east to the west, within this nation and outside of this nation, wherever the helper of your destiny is, I command them to appear now. everything that has died in your life business or whatever endeavor including your spiritual life i call upon jesus who is the resurrection and even the life let there be resurrection to every dead thing now dead organs hear the word of the lord dead visions hear the word of the lord dead families hear the word of the lord dead marriages hear the word of the lord dead businesses hear the word of the lord Dead prayer lives, hear the word of the Lord. Let me pray for you. Any wrong association that makes Jesus look unserious to you. How many of you know that there are associations that is almost a taboo to love Jesus? Anything that requires you leaving Jesus to get it is not worth your time. Are we together? Therefore, I pray, let there be a divine editing on all your relationships. The Lord gave us an instruction to come with any point of contact. Lift it up now. If you came with any point of contact, your credentials, your whatever it is. Now, this is not ritual. We are doing this based on the understanding that we are bringing a token, a point of contact. Whatever, you can lift your hands if there's nothing. In your home whatever anything that is a point of contact please believe believe in prophetic instructions do the impossible do the impossible do the impossible i stretch my hands over these points of contact whether it is your credentials whether it is your employment letter whether it is your your business whatever whether it is a court case whether it is a summon from the court whether it is a real estate project a project with institutions systems and structures whether it is papers for your ministry papers for travels in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god prophetically i lay my hands on every one of these contacts and i declare i command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you i command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you the bible says for everyone that asketh receive to him that seeketh he shall find and to him that knocketh the door shall be open every closed door over these things lifted i stand by the power of the prophetic and i command those doors to be open now hear me 
for some of you after this service they will call you and by that call you will know you have stepped into a new season everyone lifting your credentials by faith trusting God for a job in the name of Jesus Christ we shift every space that needs to be shifted and we create space for you for all those who are holding legal documents in the name of Jesus if there be anything against you we plead mercy and if anyone is lifting a medical report or anything of that sort in the name of Jesus Christ for you or for whoever you are standing in for let there be a testimony now I declare those documents anointed I declare them graced may they produce results for you in Jesus name I pray there is a real grace for wealth and abundance listen my brothers and my sisters please hear me the realities that we have in this kingdom are defined by the graces that are upon our lives and many times when God helps us and shows us his mercy it is not for self-aggrandizement but can I tell you something about the grace of God or the dimension of a grace if it's not in your life it is not there believe me you don't want to know how discomforting it is for me to even talk about this I'm one person who because the subject of wealth and abundance has been so abused bastardized are we together now yes and it sounds sometimes it sounds very arrogant listen to me it sounds very arrogant when you claim that you have such a grace you know it's not it's not a nice most people will misunderstand you and say by by what what pride what no. if you say you have the healing anointing nobody will doubt it if you say you have the grace for this and that nobody will doubt it but once you say you have graces like this it's uncomfortable so I'm not someone who likes controversy so I usually will stay back but it's been burning in my heart it's good to give to people it's good to bless people it's good to be there for people but anything given to you physically was just donation real blessings are intangible listen to me I forgive me I don't know how else to say it but let me tell you this there is truly a grace for wealth there is truly a grace for abundance I'm not talking about business so that you don't think I'm talking no I know that you can get you can earn resources when you provide value you get a job you do a business you are selling one thing or the other but I am telling you this my dear people the person talking to you is not daft I'm financially intelligent but I am telling you there is a real grace for wealth and abundance there is a grace that commands financial resources it is true this man you see standing before you by the grace of God I have my history of sojourn when it has to do with the realm of wealth and prosperity I have seen mammon this spirit you call mammon I have seen it if we do not empower God's people the truth please don't don't do things religiously sit down don't just come and drop a seat because you are seeing people do it if you act without revelation you're only wasting your time but just more than doing what you are doing I want you to concentrate I want you to carry this grace there are many noise makers when it has to do with finance there are many many people respectfully including some of us men of God there's nobody who will not say he has the grace for wealth and abundance but I am telling you sincerely by God 
there is a grace for wealth and abundance and it's been stirred up in my heart it is selfish for God to have provided such a grace and to not make it available the level of humility it takes to carry that grace not many people can carry it. listen the grace for wealth does not just give you money wealth and riches will be in your house that you will lay up gold as dust if your heart is not committed to the things of God it is risky to carry such a grace because you see when you have so much abundance and no hunger and passion for God it will tear you into pieces listen there are people today who little 10 naira 20 naira produces pride arrogance one car one house one estate here and there when this grace is upon you you become a magnet literally that everybody who has the grace to give they cannot ignore you this is not about ministry now there are many of you i must tell you this hold on there are many of you who like money that's why you are enjoying what i'm saying now it's not that you love god or this you have a passion you can kill because of money and now what a bonus about to come from a man of god no in this kingdom you retain by your willingness to lose whosoever loses finds but whosoever keeps will lose let me tell you why many people are not blessed they are afraid of money leaving them you have to conquer money the addiction the lust that comes with money once 10 naira is in your pocket you don't respect anybody again i have money there are some of you if you build one house or build a few flats some estates that's it nobody will listen to you again i have 10 million naira in my account 100 million or whatever it is and yet you don't know god is only testing you to see I cannot begin to tell you testimonies it may not profit you but I just want you to know and agree with me that there is a grace for wealth and that for as many those in ministry you need it you are to be called is one thing but honestly you must be empowered I'm not talking about offering raising this please bring me this thing don't feel insulted I'm not insulting you but imagine you raise this now you have this offering can this truly run a ministry can this truly run your life oh speak from your heavens and the earth will see oh speak from the heavens and i'll hear from the earth praying and while I was praying my ceiling suddenly disappeared and the tree that was then close to where I was staying I saw this spirit that looked like um, like a dragon big the eyes one eye was like the head of a human being it had two of it the tail had its own life you could detach it with fierce anger he was looking at me and he says so you think you can bring God's people into abundance that was the day I knew that it's not just the issue of job it's not just the issue of business buying and selling yes I know you say there are unbelievers who don't love God and are prospering there are dimensions of this thing I'm telling you many people who claim they are wealthy are not wealthy believe me they are just comfortable beyond 
the realm of a sociological context if you have two or three or four cars and you have a house and maybe it's a few millions in your account that's not wealth you are wealthy to the degree to which you're giving to the kingdom no longer inconveniences you the degree to which you can bless people and still go to sleep and not think of what left you until you are there you are not there yet that God is able to show a man kindness and mercy and pick you from where you are and grant you the grace that feeds nations not just an individual there are some of you here probably you are called into the ministry of kingdom wealth and abundance I remember when we started this ministry by the grace of God there was a time I think they stole it was maybe a total of 25,000 and I remember the then treasurer when she lovingly told me said you know someone came into our room and took it I went I said okay God the money is gone 25,000 so don't think that maybe there's some politician or some God. you know when people see these things they think oh there's some politician standing I stand by the God of heaven there is nobody that can beat his chest today to say I am behind this man to lift him no I know that God lifts there are some things you cannot say when you have dipped your hands in certain places kingdom wealth is real wealth and prosperity is real it's not talk and talk <clears throat> there is an exact grace that can show men mercy there are ravens that can bring bread to people at book cherry listen to me if you believe the prayer i'm praying for you you will hold your salary on one hand and hold the benefits of the grace for wealth on another hand you will know the difference but it's only my prayer that I will not regret this prayer and pray because this money thing has destroyed people it has led to pride all kinds of things nobody listens when I am rich I have a car I have a house many of you gentlemen looking at me I love you with all my heart but there are some of you the way I'm looking at you if you actually see 10 million or 100 million in your account it will take fasting and prayer and locking you up to get your attention again you may not fast again self not even to talk of your prayer life it goes zero today you, you testify I testify that your goodness is real your goodness is real I testify in the name of Jesus Christ the apostle said such as I have give I unto you I stand by the God of heaven and by the privilege of the election of grace by the mercy of the God of David I stretch my hands over everyone here and those who are following in the name that is above all names may the grace that empowers financially may that grace rest on you may that grace rest on you i open the gates of wealth and abundance and in the name of jesus christ i command supernatural supplies resources that have a purpose non-distracting blessings in the name of Jesus Christ I shift systems and structures and I pray that your portion in God's economy let it come to you thou has caused men to ride upon our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou brought us into a wealthy place in the name of Jesus it's like an initiation may you step into the realm of wealth may you step into the 
realm of abundance. May you step into the realm of wealth. May you step into the realm of abundance for his name's sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you who are uniquely called into the ministry of kingdom financing, I pray for you. May God make supplies available for you. And may you have the heart to do much for the kingdom. May pride and reproach not destroy you as God lifts you. Listen, the pandemic has brought many families, many churches, many individuals to a point of standstill. Sincere people who love Jesus. Don't pretend like what I'm praying is not important. There are families, the number one cause, statistically proven, the number one cause for divorce is finance and financially related issues but you see every time we talk about finance what we first think about is just job or some business somewhere there is a place for providing value but I'm telling you you are first empowered from the spirit those channels only give expression it is not the basis for your wealth the channels can change but if the grace is there the result will be the same hallelujah for some of you, you will be surprised at the supernatural connections that God will bring as a result of this prayer. Strangers, captains of industry, men and women you have no business meeting. Supernaturally, my God will connect you to them and they will make for your lifting in the name of Jesus. There are many of you here, you will enter prepared blessings. Listen, hear me. There are times that God will give you the grace to farm and then bring increase to your crop. There are times that God will help men to give you crops. But there are times bread can come from heaven. Bread is already processed. As soon as you hold it, all that is left is to eat it. If you are hungry and you need food urgently, what you need is not the grace to farm. It will take four months before it grows. You need bread from heaven first. Then your farm is prospered. Is it not in your Bible that he gives bread to the eater, seed to the sower? I've seen your seed. Where is your bread? Because he gives both. You collected seeds and you left bread. My God gives both. Bread and seed. Step into prepared blessings. Families here, yes, step into prepared blessings. It's not a call for laziness. It's not a call for seriousness. It's an advantage that we have as the saints in this kingdom. One more time, step into prepared blessings. Ministries represented here. May God raise strong financial pillars to stand behind you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you lay up gold as dust. In the name of Jesus Christ, that you get to a point in your life where you never think about money again. Your heart will be inclined to the kingdom and all that you desire is his glory, soul's destiny is changed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for you. If there is anyone here, debt is on your neck. You are owing personally, corporately. There's all kinds of financial burden. I don't care how you got into that trouble. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says they are taken for a prey and none say it restore. I stand by the God of heaven and I pray in the name of Jesus, may help arise and bail you out of that tragedy. May help, may help arise and bail you out of that trouble. May help arise and bail you out of that trouble. May help arise and bail you out of that trouble. And I pray for you. May you not waste your money through foolish financial decisions. 
Hear me? Any decision, any investment, any business, any value platform that will destroy your money and only cause you pain through discernment. I pray that my God will help you get out of it and stay away from it. And then by extension, for those trusting God for jobs, in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. Supernatural jobs from heaven. Supernatural jobs. Jobs with honor. Jobs with honor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for those in business. You are in business here. Regardless what level of achievement God has helped you to make, I pray in the name of Jesus, rise to a new dimension of achievement. Everyone due for promotion, we declare in Jesus' name, your season has come. Where you have not yet seen rest in experience. We're going to pray two kinds of prayer before I begin to minister. Number one will be a prayer of thanksgiving. To say lord thank you for giving me rest in this area now you know the definition of rest you have taken away all the forces that that disturb me in this area thank you for giving me marital rest thank you for giving me financial rest you see but lord i thank you because you are faithful to save to the uttermost and that in in administering your rest you do it round about so while thanking you for this one, I bring before you this one. Are we together now? Yes, sir. When you thank him for what he has done, you make petitions with faith. The Bible says in Mark chapter 11 and verse 44, it says, what things soever ye desire. Mark 11 and um, 24, not 4. Mark 11, 24 what things soever ye desire when ye pray believe that ye receive them what things soever ye desire the bible talked about naaman the captain of the syrian army when it had to do with war and the matters of war he had found rest he was a valiant man but the bible says he was leprous and now the time had come to do something about that leprosy and do you know how he tackled the issue of leprosy through the aid of the little slave girl he isolated every other area and just he just focused on that issue of leprosy until he was done with it thank god for the testimonies you've shared thank god for the manifest presence of god and results that you have seen in other areas but for tonight we are thanking him for what he's done but then we are placing a demand by faith on his power to say lord you can finish what you have started is someone in agreement with me father you gave me land and have built to lintel level thank you for grace but you are not only alpha you finish what you've said but that is not your best your best is you are a god of portions you desire to give me my own space Rehoboth, where i can say god has created my own space so while i thank you for the rent i am here tonight now that you have given me another opportunity the only person who should be silent when we begin to pray is the person who is dead. But for as long as you are alive, my Bible says the path of the just is as a shining light. Even in heaven, you can come up hither. You may be a man of God here. God has trusted you with tremendous levels of grace. You can thank him for that level of anointing. Thank him for that level of wisdom. But say, Lord, I have come again. Fresh fire, fresh grace. hallelujah lord i thank you that even with the bracelet i can still lift up my my the, the neck uh, you know whatever it is or whatever around my waist i can still give you thanks but lord i know i can do without it father thank you because i'm hearing on one ear i thank you for the privilege to even have one walking but lord you can make both whole and so i place a demand are we together and don't let the devil deceive you and say people are talking to god about serious issues and you are bringing this one is god complaining what things soever ye desire when ye pray and my bible says this is the confidence that we have 
that when we ask anything according to his will that he heareth us he heareth us he's not an idol hallelujah my job prophetically tonight is as a midwife to help and guide you while you deliver because that baby must come out in the name of jesus christ that baby must come out there is a natural process of delivery for a woman and that is usually the best but if for any reason there is an unusual delay doctors have another alternative to force that baby to come out but coming out he must come out are we together Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Holy, holy, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he. Listen to me. I am a firm believer in Jesus Christ. And I am a firm believer in the miraculous. I truly believe in miracles. Because my life is one. Not just that I've seen one. He has made me one. I believe in miracles. What is a miracle? An occurrence that does not go through the normal sequence of the laws of life you see sponsored by the hand of god an act of his mercy an act of his might an act of his love this is a miracle service it's not called a suggestion service it's not called a counseling service and whatsoever name adam called it that was the name thereof please rise up on your feet hello Madonna. prayer point number one is the prayer of thanksgiving i'd like you to look at the areas where you have tasted a level of rest and say thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus somebody is praying lord you have helped me ebenezer thus far you have shown me mercy in this area thank you someone is praying someone is praying someone is praying you look past my sin my guilt my shame and poured your love you look beyond me, oh. You look beyond me, oh. You look past my sin, my guilt, my shame, and for your love. Are you praying? You look beyond me, oh. You look beyond me, oh. Hey, hey. I'm the one you have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. Say, I am the one. I'm the one. You have shown mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have 
have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. You have shown me mercy. One more time. Say I'm the one. Say I'm the one. You have shown you me have mercy. Shown me mercy. Someone is praying, Father, thank you. Shalega Bakatoska Brendege Balakosiata. Someone is praying, Lord, you have shown me mercy. Thank him, thank him, thank him. Lord, you gave me a house this year. Thank you. You restored my soul. You restored my health. Thank you. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, he says, and forget not his benefits. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Next prayer point. Now you are going to cry. Father, the word declares that you are able to save even to the uttermost. I have come. The Bible says that he would not allow the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. Now that you have thanked him, he says, enter his courts with thanksgiving. His gates with thanksgiving. His courts with praise. He says, come before him with singing. Hallelujah. Listen, I don't want you to keep quiet. You are going to mention the areas where you must find rest. Lord, I give you thanks for this and that area. But right now, I come before you trusting the God of all flesh. Someone pray. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Shalegebakatosadabrandegebalakatoshiata. Rest, rest, rest. There remaineth a rest, marital rest, financial rest, fruitfulness rest, business rest, spiritual growth rest. Please pray. Every area you are yet to find rest, call upon the God. Who can give rest round about? Someone it may be in your business. Someone it may be in your ministry. Someone it may be in your family. Someone it may be in whatever area. Let us therefore labor to enter that rest. Please pray. Shabakatos kata branda gede balakotia. Lord, grant me rest round about. You are standing in for someone. Here is the time to pray. Grant me rest. Grant me rest. That cancer, that diabetes, grant me rest. In the name of Jesus, grant me rest. Grant me rest. hallelujah we are still praying i just sense to add one prayer point second thessalonians 3 16 second thessalonians 3 16 i believe 
one of the indices of rest is peace second thessalonians 3 16. it says now the lord of peace himself give you peace always by all means we are going to pray that by all means prayer lord how you do it i leave it to your creativity but my heart is open visit me by all means change my story by all means it is within your power to make great it is within your power someone pray by all means you are the lord of peace Grant me rest, grant me peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look up. We are praying. Unfortunately, these two most important words, we don't seem to have the courage to use them for those who are alive. We only use them for those who are dead. We say rest in Two important words that we should experience and enjoy in our lifetime you don't have to wait until you are gone you can experience rest and peace right now you are not prophesying negatively declare it over yourself Lord rest and peace you are giving it to me in the name of Jesus in my lifetime I will find rest and find peace is someone praying outside pray all the overflows pray online pray grant me rest grant me peace rest round about rest round about that you can bless me in all things my life becomes a testimony and a testament In the name of Jesus 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 listen you do not know there are ministers of the gospel here and they will tell you the greatest joy of any shepherd who truly loves his people is not his or her personal testimony is seeing God's people stand here to say look what the Lord has done look at the marvelous things turning my morning to dancing my sorrow to joy so when i engage us to pray it is my desire as for me i'm prepared and god is prepared but is to prepare our hearts to make sure that we receive maximally please don't be tired you are still going to pray one more time say lord with my eyes and my hands i will see a performance over this issue whatever is the issue mention it that my answer will not remain in visions and dreams alone i'm tired of seeing it in visions and then it stops there i'm tired of having dreams and then it stops there tired of seeing the impartation in dreams and visions let it find expression tired of seeing the houses and the buildings in dreams and visions let it find expression that which is finished from the realm of the spirit let it be made manifest here and now the word became flesh and it dwelt among men and we beheld its glory tired of seeing the job in the realm of the spirit and then i wake up and only find out i was dreaming 
tired of seeing the favor in the realm of the spirit make it manifest now oh god hallelujah hallelujah will you be tired if i give you a few prayer points two or three one of the ways we bring favor to our lives is through favor provoking prayers i have taught you and you have seen it here believe me i don't know how people live without the favor of god it's impossible you are going to pray and say father in this season show me favor lift your voice and pray favor end this drought in my life once and for all tired of going up financially and coming down tired of men liking me today and then everybody leaving me alone tomorrow show me favor tired of empty-handedness someone is praying cry to the god of all flesh whether you're outside whether you're online please pray and jabez pray right unto god as a family you are praying as a ministry you are praying as a business you are praying favor from heaven i've taught you that the proof of favor is not just money is that men's hearts are loyal to you please pray oh my favor has come oh my favor has come oh ah. my favor has come oh my favor in the name of jesus in the name of jesus prayer point number two speed listen dominion over time is real dominion no matter what you dominate if you cannot dominate time you are still lagging behind it was the delay of the bridegroom that made five others to miss it out they were prepared from the beginning and they were virgins but they expected the bridegroom to come fast lord whatever is bringing delay in my life bring speed to my destiny lift your voice and pray bring speed to my destiny someone pray someone pray someone pray speed of accomplishment speed of establishment we are praying we are praying Satos kati lakosi abanda gres ibra diki balakota skoto branda gade balakatosi ata egra katusa gede balatosi ata barando skotia hallelujah hallelujah we are still praying speed let me show you a scripture that will bless you genesis 27 let's start from verse 18 please hurry up give it to us genesis 27 verse 18 do you know what happened here 
this was jacob and esau isaac sent esau he said go to the field and hunt and bring me meat and then the mother of jacob and esau told jacob he said go behind the house and bring one and he made it quickly this is jacob now disguising as esau there's a statement i want you to see and he came unto his father and said father and he said i am here who art thou my son 19. and jacob said to his father i am esau i have done according as thou bathest me arise i pray thee sit and eat of my venison that thy soul may bless me now watch this 20. and isaac said unto him how is it that house thou hast found it so quickly what did you do that may, you are not supposed to get this result under normal circumstances with this speed his answer is our next prayer point and he said because the lord thy god brought it to me someone is going to pray lord bring it to me it is within your power bring it to me one of the ways we experience speed is that god will bring it to you lord bring it to me bring it to me what i am looking for it can look for me you can bring it to me you can bring the job to me by your mercy how come you have found it so quickly he says the lord brought it to me some of you as you are praying you are already receiving supernatural answers bring it to me oh god the destiny help us i am tired of looking for them lord bring it to me bring it to me bring it to me bring it to me in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus now please listen we are going to minister we'll pray for the sick but my focus tonight is these two areas the area of favor and the area of speed listen it is impossible for you to not laugh when God honors you on this wise that God brings favor the proof of favor is not money you don't need favor to have money with wisdom alone can sort that but the loyalty of the hearts of men towards you that is favor when Jesus was born the Magi because of what was on him they came all the way from the east when men come they don't come empty the Bible says they came and met a baby bringing him the gift of gold frankincense and Mary when God was restoring Job in Job chapter 42 the 11th verse his restoration happened because all his acquaintances and all those who had left him the Bible says the first thing that happened when God was restoring Job was that his acquaintances all the people who had left him the bible says his brethren all his sisters who left him that means one of the ways that the devil attacks men is to remove men from your life god can handpick men but when there is a mass exodus of useful people it's an attack did you hear what i said one time he told the apostle he said don't be afraid i have many men in this city that means it's not only angels I have. I have many men who can protect and defend your cause. Favor. Favor. I have prayed this for you every day and I will continue to pray it. Because I have discerned and I have seen in my life and in this ministry. It is impossible to truly, sustainably do anything without favor. The number one reason why people fail more than demonic attack is the absence of favor because when you have the favor of god you can rule even in the midst of your enemies hallelujah praise the name of the lord god bless you now i'm going to pray for you listen 
what does it mean to pray for people it's more than just falling down i want you to understand this what your expectation should not just be to fall down and to stand up you can fall down and stand up and honestly not receive anything are we together that can just be the effect of the movement of god's power in your physical body that you may not be able to stand but when i say i am praying for you the first thing is that your eyes should be on jesus your faith should be alive you are now listening for when your word comes and you are receiving it by faith and if and where the miracle should manifest now like healing you are insisting that it happens i'm going to pray for you because there are demon spirits and i'm going to ask you to bring them out for as long as i live i will never stop casting out demons for as long as i live i will never stop trust standing in faith with jesus to set the captives free there are invisible spirits standing at the corridors of men's destinies and frustrating the purposes of god listen when you see that certain battles are beyond the scope of humans there is a spirit at work but now thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph are you ready i want to pray for you i want you to bring them out here we are going to be very fast because i want to take out time to pray for the sick there are people who are under all kinds of yokes manipulations of darkness some of you are coming here for the first time some of you have come because you are completely confused what is the name of what is going on with my life nothing seems to be working i want to pray for you right now in the name of jesus and at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and that fire from heaven will fall upon anything that does not name the name of christ and get it out of your life are you ready father we give you all the glory i'm telling you i'm already sensing such power from heaven one two three shout jesus i decree and declare right now everything that is not of god give way now give way now every altar every orchestration of darkness i command that it must leave in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus please help them in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now i'm seeing something that looks like a chain but i'm seeing it on the heads of people being removed not hands on the heads i decree and declare as many who are victims of this i bring you deliverance right now from the throne in the name of jesus bring them out i bring you deliverance right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus, name of jesus. Name of jesus. my god i'm seeing fire coming on people i'm seeing at least the number 44 this is inside and outside and the lord is bringing deliverance not only for you but this is for your entire family they have prayed this is witchcraft that has tied down families some of you will be all right but the power of god will still come on you on behalf of your family in the name of jesus I bring them out be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now hallelujah the lord is asking me to pray for people the moment you go to bed encounters with dead people those who have already gone what what fellowship has the living and the dead in the name of we're not talking of the spirits of just men made perfect we're talking of demon spirits i'm about to pray for you now the power of god is coming upon you that every association connecting you to the grave and connecting you to the dead he must give up father i decree and declare let your power rest now and bring liberty 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 in the name of jesus oh death where is your sting and oh grave where is your victory 
oh death where is your sting oh grave where is your victory the lord is showing me the map of nigeria and i'm seeing the anointing of the spirit go to emo state emo and, and the power of god is coming on people now that are connected to that state this is is, is a sign and a wonder how god does it in the name of jesus anyone under any kind of yoke connected to ancestry from this region be delivered right now 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 every time a miracle is about to happen to you you will have a dream in the night either someone molesting you or something happens and that is the end of it somebody who said i will favor you Matakatoskata will turn against you i decree and declare by the decree of the watchers by the power that raised christ from the dead every altar sponsoring delay and sponsoring um abortions of great dreams just when it's about to happen i cause it right now i cause it bring them out i cause it right now listen many of you have heard the stories of people they will tell you i suddenly got a job that i applied for in 2017 it did not just happen there are spirits that stop it but when they are taken away upon mount zion there shall be deliverance then holiness then possessing of possessions there is someone you are at the back you are a man of god i just saw fire come on you you don't even know why ministry has not been working the lord is visiting you i'm seeing at the back there is such such anointing that glory is just resting upon someone and breaking that yoke of delay in ministry that people come and they go they come and they go there is no staying and there's no growing in the name of jesus wherever that person is may the power of god touch you right where you are in the name of jesus christ do you know there is the spirit of poverty then there is the mindset of poverty if the only thing you correct is the mindset you will still be poor there is the spirit of poverty there is the mindset of poverty then there is the absence of value and productivity all of these are factors that ultimately lead to poverty you can find your place in terms of providing value but if the spirit and the mindset is not corrected you will still be poor you can provide value and even upgrade your mind but the limitation of intellect it cannot cross beyond to the realm of the spirit and correct spiritual things are we together the same way the spirit of poverty can be cast away but the mindset of poverty can remain you will still be poor the mindset of poverty can go away and the spirit of poverty can go away but then if there is no value and productivity you may it may not amount to much you will just have an epileptic financial life here you will learn the whole counsel of god it is the value and productivity but then the transition that happens to you mentally but ultimately the king of tyre he sits in tyre and sidon himself he lifted jesus and took him into an exceeding high mountain and said showed him all the kingdoms and the glories and he said i will give you this is not the issue of you are transformed i will it's a transaction we will do from the realm of the spirit i want to rebuke that spirit there is a real spirit of poverty i have seen people who spent 10 20 years in the u.s and will return back when you see them in the village today respectfully speaking you will never believe that they've even traveled even to the, the state the capital it's a spirit when you find out four or five graduates all with phd 
and the least person respectfully speaking is maybe some teacher somewhere earning twenty thousand with phd this is more than the issue of value there is a spirit my assignment is to deal with spirits hear me anytime you see that you are not where you use where you should be and from a physical standpoint all that should be in place is in place there is a spirit stopping you let me pray for someone in a, see many people the power of god will come on so many people over this prayer father i am praying that every territorial altar that has sponsored poverty generational hardships you are still going to shout that name jesus i decree and declare at the shout and the blast of that name jesus let the fire of god fall and deliver families are you ready now one two three shout jesus i command that altar give way now bring them out i cost that spirit i cost that spirit i cost that spirit tying down families tying down destinies be lifted in the name of jesus my god miracles are happening here deliverances of all sorts please help them so they don't injure themselves bring them out if you can hallelujah